Hello, wait a second. <laughs> okay, no, wait, I'm on the secondary channel. <laughs> I've been enjoying all of today with no work. Well, I've done a little bit of work today, and I'm just now jumping over to this stream. So I mean to say hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Pokemon card stream. How's it going, everyone? I really don't warm up for these things. I just kind of hit the go live button, and then we go. <laughs> uh, how is it going? I have no more Pokemon cards. They're all sold. Slog Collections. How's it going, Slog Collections? He says hi. Move this over here. What is up, everyone? What's today? Is it like Monday night? I got my drink. I got my Pokemon cards. We're all sold out of the Gym 2 booster packs. This is amazing. When my stim check comes, I'll have $1,200 in my account. Nice, dude. That's like enough for... How many tacos would that be? Well, if every taco was $2, that'd be 600 tacos. Well, look at the table, man. The table's full. What the heck? Game Addict says yesterday was interesting. How do you... What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Yesterday was interesting, he says. Never sold out. Also, can I see my more Pecco? Says Justin Groves. More Pecco. Yet a more Pecco? I'm trying to remember. Oh, you mean yesterday's night live stream? The uh, let's chat one? Or let's, let's have a chat. I was thinking about doing another one tonight. Yeah, those are fun. Those are fun. People are like, I don't like what you're saying. Who does that slow poke belong to on the right? This Zen LP. Whoa, look at some people went really deep. Look at look at JC. Holy cow, man. JC and DL. Dude. Mahasvara. I had to break his into two packs. He has this pack over here. He had this pack here. Dude, you guys went through 60 booster packs. Can you believe it? 60 of them. Really wild. I got contacted by Sora. He's like, I missed him. <laughs> I felt bad. I didn't realize he wanted any. You know, I still have the one booster pack left. I, I wonder if he's watching tonight. Sora, if you're watching, you can have my last booster pack. I guess I'd be open to that. Maybe I'll buy another box of... Uh, there's another box of them for sale, but this much more expensive than it used to be. Yeah, they're expensive now. My more Pecos in the PSA pile waiting to be sent out. Oh, okay. There we go. Sora says, I'll take it. Sora, if you want that pack, I'll sell it to you for the same price I sold it to everyone else. Uh, 75 bucks, just to be fair. Even though I'm pretty sure I could ask a little more than that, just because it's the last one. Uh, 75 is perfectly fine. And... Uh, we got some gym heroes coming on the way. He has a more Pecco, huh? Let's see if we can find it. Where's more Pecco? There's a Sabrina suggestion. There's that Persian that was donated. Thank you very much for the Persian donation. More Pecco. Oh, okay. I know what I'm looking for. You know, I, I couldn't think of... I couldn't match the, the Pokemon to the name. We also have Temlet's pack, but we're saving it for Temlet. He asked us to. I don't know how long we'll have to save it, though. There's a more Pecco in here, you claim, huh? Where's it at? That's right, he is a hamster. Snorlax. We got a lot of cards going out. Man. Stonjourner. Where is he? You say he's going out. And more Pecco is going out. Oh, I, I, I missed it. It was in the first stack. Here, if it's in the first stack. I'm sorry. Oops. Oh, this one? Here it is. There you go, Justin. My bad. Whoops. Yeah, I totally passed him. It was my free grading when I won the Guzzlord. Oh, cool. Okay. DL's got a hoopa going out. Move that over here. You know, normally we would have sent in another grading to PSA, but they're they're closed down because of the coronavirus. They're told not to go to work. So it's really frustrating. There he is. More Peco VMAX. 
Looking pretty good. Looking like a 10. Very cool. Oh, snap. Oh, hot diggity dog. Jim, two plus some tip. What? <laughs> plus some tip. Woo, thanks so much. That's a generous tip, Sora. Holy heck, man. Well, we got to make sure you, your pull's a nice one. I tell you what, Sora, we'll play a little game, too. So there's two packs here. Temlet's going to get the other one. Which one would you like me to open? The one on the right or the one on the left? Justin says, here comes my Arcanine. <laughs> Sora would like the pack on the right. And that's the pack you would have gotten. So this is the one you were fated to have. Let's see what happens. Yeah, we've got Jim Heroes coming soon. There we go. What do you guys think? We open a rocket box tonight? I mean, I don't have a lot of modern cards to sell. I, I do and I don't. We're, we're running low on a lot of the modern cards. Some of them should start showing up tomorrow. I ordered some more modern cards. I focused on Unbroken Bonds and Hidden Fates. Nice. Giovanni's Pinsir. What was that? Let's grade my Gem 2 Alakazam Nidoking in the champ. Woo! Sounds good, man. Ooh, there's the Charmeleon. That's good. Transparent Walls. Sabrina's Kadabra. There's... Blaine, Meowth, and the gem. Okay, so you know what? We didn't see Koga's Trap, and we didn't see any of the other uh, Japanese-only card. I did a little bit of research. All those cards actually do pretty well in terms of resale value. So the holographic cards, some of them are nice, uh, but those those uh, cards like the Imakuni's, Umakuni's uh, status name, Doduo, that's a really good card to have. Oh, my God. You guys aren't going to believe this. Are you guys ready? Another Blaine's Charizard. If you want to be with me, baby, there's a price to pay. I am the genie in a bottle. You got to love me. Oh, my God. If you want to be my lover. Yeah, I can make your wish come true. Oh, my God, jeez. Dude, there were seven of these in the booster box. Seven of them. Wow. I'm so glad we opened it. Could you Could you imagine this was going to... I was going to send this off to PSA, and they were going to grade this. And so we never would have known if it was a Charizard. We just wouldn't have known it. So good job on opening that. That's a happy ending, for sure. Woo! Sweating bullets over here. <laughs> it could have been Giovanni, you know? <laughs> did I pull two Giovannis? Man, I did not have any luck with either of the... Uh, Gym 2 booster boxes. All of my pulls were, yeah, I, I, I pulled a, a few okay cards. I didn't pull any of the Charizards, and there were so many of them. There were a total of how many? Like 12 Charizards. I didn't pull a single one, but that's okay. All right, that's going out to Sora. Let's go ahead and take care of Mahasfar. He wants more of his cards to be sent off to be graded. So he wants his Alkazam, King, and Machamp. Let's see if I can find those real fast. Did G-Ray ever get the news that he pulled a uh, Blaine's Charizard? He must have been really happy with that. He says, sing my song. <laughs> Hold on. I got I got important work business to do. I got important Pokemon business. So there's the Machamp. If you want to be my lover. What's the rest of it? Baby, there's a price to pay. Wait, am I singing it the right one? I don't know if I recognize the lyrics to that one. Oh, here we go. Here's your other bag. Bad news, Arch Temper Namiel doesn't come out until May 1st. Woohoo! Yeah, man, I need another game to play, guys. I'll be honest with you. I'm a little tired of Monster Hunter. They just have not been putting out anything too crazy. So here is the Alkazam. And Nido King. There you go. There's the Nido King. Oh, very cool, man. You're going to be having, like, most of a set returning. Very nice. You have, like, a whole Gym 2 set going out, man. Jesus. One, two, three. 
Holy. Play another Capcom game, says Saul. I could. There was the Resident Evil 3 remake. Uh, you know, I just don't see myself enjoying buying that. People are saying I should play Final Fantasy 7. Whoa. Holy. Holy. Zard and Mewtwo. People realizing they want their cards graded. Place that in there nice and gentle. These cards are so beautiful. Holy heck, man. Animal Crossing gameplay with Quip Quip. Yeah, that would be fun. You know, she really does want to stream Animal Crossing, but man, she works all day. That is the main problem she's running into. She works all day, and by the time she's done working, she is really exhausted. Wow, these cards look so good. Why don't the modern cards look this good? Like, seriously, the vintage cards have something special going for them. I don't know what it is. They got that mojo. They got that mojo, man. New cards are all, like, computer design or something like that. 3D images. Grading plus small tip. Grading plus small tip. Just the tip. Thank you so much, man. Who was that? Oh, that was Sora. Oh, my gosh. Sora, it couldn't work out any better, huh? You got that awesome-looking Blaine's Charizard. Okay, but we have to be careful because there's been a lot of people asking for gradings. We got to make sure to stagger them so they don't all go out at the same time. So these are for Mahasvaro. Okay, put that over there. Maybe what I can do, actually, if we get enough cards before my next shipment, I'll just do two entirely different shipments at the same time, the same day. We're going to update the grading request for Mahasvaro now. You know what? I honestly do not know... I think what I'm, I think the way I'm going to do this, uh, I'm going to be, I'm, I'm probably going to choose the order everything gets sent out when I actually fulfill the submission. Oh my gosh. Oops, forgot Zap Moltres write you in two chancy eggs. What? <laughs> Hold on, let's, let's do this. I'm going to do it step by step so there's no mistakes. So Giovanni Snido King. Japanese, Jim 2, Giovanni Snido King, Giovanni's uh, Ma Champ, Japanese, and it was also Sabrina's Alkazam, right? I believe it was. Yes, it was. Okay, so Sabrina's Alkazam, Gym 2. So I'm going to go, that's been updated. Now I'm going to go back to Streamlabs. DL says, next in line for Zard and Mewtwo grading. Okay. So this is DL. Mewtwo. You had a Zard in here, huh? Oh yeah, here it is. Oh my God. We had so many of them. It's crazy. Okay. I traded my second Mewtwo for a Gengar. That's right. And I updated the grading request for you on that. Okay, nice and easy. Say DL on these so there's no confusion. Oops. Touched my table there. Simon says, I'm excited that you bought the Gym 1 box. I am too. I've never opened one. Wow, these cards look so good. I want you to sh see this again. Look how nice that looks, actually. Dude, that's really cool. See, they knew what they were doing back then. I don't know what it is, but... This looks way better than a lot of the modern cards now. I mean, the modern cards are okay, but, I mean, look at this. It's just kind of, you know, it's something that they drew. It looks too perfect, actually. And then they went with the whole rainbow thing. The rainbow thing's cool, I guess. 
but I mean, these look, these look like traditional high value cards. I don't know how else to describe them. How's it going, Haley? Wow, we haven't seen you in a while, Haley. So there we go. Let me update your grading request for that DL. I'm just going to go ahead and throw it into the lower submission. Pretty sure it belongs there. So that's JC. We're going to say 2 DL. And that's going to be Blaine's Charizard. Japanese. Oh, I see. So you're going to have to be bumped down again. But we'll figure that out when we get to it. Rockets Mewtwo. I'm jealous. I need one of those. Okay, there we go. Rockets Mewtwo. These go up here. I cannot believe Sora just pulled a Blaine's Charizard. There were seven of them. You know what that makes me wonder, Sora? Remember on the last box, we actually sent off some packs to be graded? I hope none of those were Charizards. Okay, so after... DL donates for Zard and Mewtwo. Sora says grading plus small tip. So this is going to be for the Charizard. Thank you for the tip. I've been super busy with work and school, and now I've been grinding Animal Crossing, so all my time has been gone. You play Animal Crossing too. So Haley, in our Discord uh, server, we actually have a little channel for Animal Crossing. My wife's playing it, actually, by the way. And uh, you should join and say hi to everyone. Okay, so this one's going to be for Sora. Yeah, that would be unfortunate if, if it had a Blaine's Charizard in it. It's making me wonder now because apparently you can pull seven out of one box. So it's got me wondering. All right, let's go ahead and update. It's going to say that you're going into the uh, next submission request. However, eventually I'm going to have to bump you down. Shouldn't be too bad, actually, because they're upcharge cards. So this is going to be Sora. All right, I hope you guys don't mind having a bit of a long wait on those. Fortunately, with PSA shut down, it is going to be a while. It'll show up someday, and it'll be older and more valuable. I'm going to drink here. I'm actually running out of energy drinks. I have to go back to the store, but I don't want to. I'm coronavirus free, and I'd love to keep it that way. I heard a, a naval officer passed away recently. He was one of the 500 officers that got infected on the uh, airship carrier. It's crazy to think you can have a young man who is, uh, well, actually, I don't know who he is. I don't know much about him. I presume he's pretty healthy, though. That's what I presume. Anyways, let's see. Back to the Streamlabs. Let's talk a little bit about the cards we have available. Should I open a Rocket Box tonight? Wouldn't that be crazy if I did that? Let's see. We got the Japanese Rocket Box. I think I will keep that one sealed because we already opened one on this channel. And I want it to remain like my sealed box. What do we got? I've got, I've got freaking five of them, guys. I've got five Rocket Boxes. Oh, Maz Farah said, didn't someone else want grading? Right, 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 right. My bad. So he says Zapdos, Moltres, Raichu, and two Chansey Eggs. That's for DL. Thank you for reminding me. Here's Moltres. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. Hey, you got a Rocket Snorlax. Here's one of the Chanseys. It's a good choice, actually. Getting the Chanseys. Tell me I don't have to go looking for the other chances, please. Here's the Zapdos. Here's Wishy Washy. Marty, my champ. Here we go. Boop. All right. Got it. Great Snorlax. DL says I'll send in Snorlax. Okay, not bad. DL, you went to town on these. I did some research. Those chances do good. You were lucky to pull the chances. Snorlax, please grade. 
All right, you're the only one sending in the Snorlax, so we'll definitely send him out. We've got this wonderful Chansey. Name's Chansey. <laughs> I spent so much money. That's right, you did. <laughs> you went pretty deep. You bought a lot of the box. My chest kind of hurts. Uh-oh. It's Corona time. Justin says, how much for the rocket packs? I don't know. They'd be like 150 or something like that. They're more expensive because they're first edition English cards. You know, you might pull the freaking Dark Blastoise first edition, and that's like a... I think that's a $4,000 card now. Isn't that crazy? There was a guy selling it for 4000 but then he took the card down, which means he probably sold it off of eBay, and there's just none available. So there we go. Beautiful. I think that's what we were doing last time, right? We were doing like 150 or something like that. Let's get DL's names on it. So we uh, open in the box. Probably sold it on Facebook. He probably did. But you know, even if it's worth like 2,500, that's still a tremendous amount. But I actually think it's, if I had to guess, it is probably reaching around that $3,000 mark. Because when you look at it, there really aren't that many of them. There's 150 of them and it's a Blastoise and it's a good looking Blastoise. So you need them to complete your, your set. Not everyone wants the Dark Magneton, you know. Dark Magneton, he, there's only like however many there was, like 50 of them, but he's not like the most popular Pokemon. So people are like, yeah, I'll take a PSA 9 of him and not worry about it. But there's people who are, they want to complete the set and they're like, no, I kind of have to have PSA 10 Blastoise. He's too important. You know what I mean? So I'm going to jump up here to DL. Here we are. And I'm going to add... Blaine's Moltres, and I probably can't send it out here, so I will bump it down to the bottom one later. Uh, Rocket Zapdos. H-I-J-K. Two times names Chansey. I wonder why they didn't bring that one forward to the English set. That was a really nice one. And... Rockets, Snorlax. All right. Woo. Okay. I got some cards to grade from that set too, but I'm never going to get a chance to. I'm not going to get to grade mine till like 20 years from now. <laughs> when you guys are all done grading yours. Look what I pulled. So I'm going to grade this one just because it's a magic card. I got Beedrill. Come on, man. Zapdos. Chasing waterfalls. Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used high. Uh, don't go chasing waterfalls. See, I know all the songs. Most of them, anyways. She just wants to hear me sing 90s music. I think that's what his prerogative is. As far as, like, I'll take the bead drill. Uh, I'll have to think about it. <laughs> You're wanting to finish your collection? Yeah, that's a reasonable thing. Uh, what, what do you want to... Let's see what a... Let's speculate. Let's pretend he goes for a 10. I don't think he's worth much. Let's let's see if he goes for a 10. So let's say Koga's bead drill. Wait, is there none of them for sale? Oh, dude, there might not be any for sale. I didn't know that. Let's check completed items. Oh, damn. Yeah, there's just none of them for sale. Looks like he didn't... In the past, he didn't really go for much. He went for about 35 bucks. 
which is pretty low in my opinion. It's one of the reasons why I didn't consider him a very good card. But he's gone. There's none left. What would you what would you offer on a Mahasvaro? Because I already have one of them. It's already in grading. It's already it's already out there. Let's say you're including the price of the grading with it. So let's say eighteen dollars is for the grading itself. The card looks pretty good. Definitely looks like it could get a ten. A lot of them do. So eighteen. If you were selling it for the completed price of like thirty three bucks, that would be fifty one. But I kind of want to go higher than what it used to go for because if there's none on the market, obviously I'm going to ask for much higher than that. Show him the swirl. Are there swirls? Yeah, there's a swirl right there. I'll hold on to it. We can talk about it privately if you want, Mahas Faras. There's no rush. So here's Lotto 1. And the big Lotto that really there has been not that high of uh, excitement for, I feel. Maybe Dark Golbat, maybe you guys feel he's too expensive. Or maybe you feel that... Uh, you're not a huge fan of, of Dark Golbat specifically. So I'm thinking about trading this out. We'll do the Fairy Energy card. Oh, man, it's Fairy Energy. <laughs> oh, man, you guys would go crazy for that one. I wonder if I do have anything. Is that the Kawuna signed bat? It is the Kawuna signed bat. It's Kawuna time. Kawuna virus. That's true, Mahasvara. Did Mary find her PSA Fairy Energy? Almost certainly not. PSA Fairy Energy should be extremely hard to find right now. They stopped making it. They stopped making it. That, that makes it a rarer thing because it's not going to be in the future unless they bring it back. But who knows if they do that. Oh, man, I'm thirsty tonight. King Taco says, I want that gold bat. Well, you can't have it, King Taco. Oh, I remember what I was thinking about. I need to sell off more of these raw vintage, uh, not energy cards, raw vintage cards that are like light played and all that stuff. So this box right here, I would like to start eliminating it essentially. And that might mean offering pretty low prices on them. The thing is, I've got so many cards I've realized I don't really care to have this many. It's too many to keep track of. Hey, Grimer, Ponita, Squirtle. Wow, that's nice. Dark Electrode, Challenge. Ooh, these are such nice cards. What do we have, actually? Is this guy from the recent... I think I just pulled this guy. Is that what happened? He should probably be graded and saved somewhere. Mewtwo, Mew, Muck was $7, Articuno, Vaporeon, Venomoth, Magneton, Koga, Pidgeot, Entei, Dark Arbok, Dark Persian, Machamp, Rocket Return, Seedra, Magikarp, Rattata, Rattata, Dratini. If I saved and wanted to buy gold back straight up, what would your best price be? Well, I suppose it would be like $285. Lapras, Chansey, Rocket Sneak Attack, Dark Hypno, Dark Hypno, Dark Golbat, Pidgeot, Dark Arbok, Magneton, Dark Slowbro, Jolteon, Giovanni's Persian. Matt says, you're blinding us. Am I? Raichu, Dark Magneton, Mr. Mime. Don't want to close my eyes. I don't want to fall asleep cause I do miss you. Do I don't want to close my eyes. Dooba 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 doo. Scooby dooby dooby. Do 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 do. That's the song they played for Armageddon. Who was the artist? The artist of that song, his daughter played the elf, uh, the elf girl in uh, Lord of the Rings. I don't remember any of their names. Aerosmith, right? Yeah, Aerosmith. That's correct. Were there first edition hollows in there? Yes. Oops. Hold on. I think I almost muted you there. <laughs> it's hard to do anything on your phone. Tell you what. Why don't I? Why don't I show off one card at a time? from this pile that I'd like to sell off.
Go back to the vintage hollows. TCC, how much for that Zapdos? I don't know. Wow, this guy looks really good. Oh, he's got some hairlines back here. Okay, well, darn. So yeah, we got, here's a dark Tyranitar, but he's not gonna grade a 10. Where's my marker at? And I don't wanna miss a thing. Do, 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 do. Everyone, that music was so popular for a while, and then I think it started annoying some people. <laughs> Any Guardian Rising left? Uh, yes, we do have Guardian Rising left. Here's the price card for modern packs. We got Unified Mind, Sword and Shield base set, Guardian Rising. Cosmic is not here yet. I ordered more. Team Up, we do have Team Up right now. Is 5 for 28. The cost of those have gone right up. I've got two booster boxes left. So if people get interested in that, I'm going to have to split it off in a careful way. Tyranitar. Tyranitar. Who bought that? I don't want to close my eyes. Scooba dooba dooba doo. It's 90. Here you go, 90. Weekend Wolf. Oh, he's only here for the weekend. All right, where did 90's packs go? You're in here somewhere, 90. I know you are. Here we are. 90's back here. There we go. I found you, 90. You got a non hollow Dragonite in there? <laughs> I don't know. Do I? Actually, here. Let me start off by putting this guy in a sleeve. He is probably a 10, and so he probably deserves to be graded. I won't grade him right away, but he will eventually be graded. What do you think about the future for Shiny Charizard PSA 10? You know, uh, I wasn't going to say anything, but I've ordered two of them now. I think the future for that card looks extremely good. Extremely good. So I've purchased two of them secretly. Two of them while you weren't paying attention. I was like, <laughs> better pick up some of these before they do. Two shiny charts. Speaking of which, I have not gone out and checked my mail. But I don't think he showed up. What do we got in here? This ugly pincer. Here's a $3 pincer from the jungle set. I actually love that card. Don't don't listen to me. When I say ugly, I'm lying. This Mewtwo, I think, was five bucks. I'll just write a five on him. I'm doing what I think are very reasonable prices. This is promo Mew from Hidden Fates. I'm just gonna do two dollars on it. That's actually not a vintage card. That's a modern card. Here's Muck. Articuno, huh? Freaking Articuno, huh? Well, he's got some scratches on him, doesn't he? So we're going to say this is uh, $8 played. Articuno is much more valuable. He's cool as frick. We're going to call this plate as well. We're going to say $4 played on this Vaporeon. I'm just coming up with prices, guys, out of a hat. $3. That's for Venomoth. Oh. Was I trying to decide whether to grade this one? I can't remember. Eh, I would call this light played, and we will make it $7. $7, light played fossil magneton. He looks terrific. Here's a Koga. Koga! Hmm. Little thin scratches on him. Nothing too bad. Yeah, actually, he's in pretty good condition. I'm going to call this uh, probably excellent. I want to set it at 8. That's a rare trainer from Gym Heroes. Maybe Gym Challenge. Look at that Pidgeot. He's definitely played. He's just going to be $4 played. The sweetest dreams are never do, 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 do. This is a reverse holo card. It's an Entei promo card from probably a long time ago. I have no clue what he's worth. Trade my Marpeco to you for equal value vintage hollows? Uh, we could. I don't really know what your Marpeco is valued at is the problem. I would be open-minded to it, though. Let's make this five and call it light play. 
did you sell your PSA 10 Japanese Charizard? Uh, he went off in one of the, oh, 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 the PSA one? Yes, that one was put into the lotto. Somebody actually just recently won him. This card's definitely going to be $8. Light play. Oh, man, I'm wondering if I'm underpricing a lot of cards because I actually know Dark Arbox price, and I'm, I'm starting to wonder if these are underpriced. Oops, come on now. I don't like that penny sleeve. We're going to take it out of that. This promo dark Persian is uh, not bad. Maybe this should go to quick quick. You know what? I'll Maybe I'll buy her a nicer one. We're going to say $6 excellent. Excellent means that is in... Just under near mint condition. Oh, Shadowless Machamp, huh? Now that's one I don't really know about. Probably I should grade this. How's it going, Andres? Uh, yeah, you can buy any of these. I put a little number down in the corner that tells you what I'm selling it at. So this Machamp will probably be sold off, or not sold off, graded off, because, well, you guys saw that. PSA 1 Charizard, right? So this is probably a PSA 1 Mod Champ and still gradable. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy, man. Cedra from the Rocket Return set in a little messed up old sleeve. Let's put him in a nicer sleeve. He's definitely got some scratches on him. Uh, you know what? He's being sent off to be graded. One of the things I've realized about the Rocket Return set is there really is not a lot of cards left in that set. Nobody's really graded very many of them. You're off to be graded, Cedra. Woohoo! Magikarp, also from Rocket Returns. You know, this card, it's looking like it's in mint condition. Um, wow, he's in great condition, but I'm just going to set his price at about uh, $2, I think. $2, and I'm going to put M for mint. Reverse Hollow Ratata. Isn't PSA 1 kind of worthless? No, not for certain sets. Some sets are so popular that even PSA 1 is valuable. Especially when we're talking about the most expensive sets on the market, like the base set. The funny thing is, that Mod Champ still probably sell for like 30 bucks if not more. And 30 bucks is valuable enough to be graded. Okay, that's Ratata. That'll be sent off. So I know for a fact that all of these are going to be in mint condition because I opened them myself. I will sell them each for $3. That's mint Ratata. Mint Dratini. This is from Rocket Returns. A set that's pretty expensive, surprisingly. These are all freshly pulled and immediately sleeved. So is there a big difference between PSA 1 and PSA 10? You bet your sweet dingle doggers there is. Justin's like, I'm down to trade a viewer. <laughs> I'm down to do it. Let's do it. So what do we have here? We got Dark Slow Bros already, already priced. Sabrina's Alkazam. That's Dark Raichu. Looks a little underpriced, to tell you the truth. Alkazam. Dark Flaffy. I don't know much about him. Oh, the Yanma. I need to put a price on him. This is also pack fresh. I pulled this guy myself, and he's a rare. So he was the rare. P4, LP9. Eight, four. I did not... Oh, I did. This is a 5, 8, 15 on the Dark Hypno. 8, 4, 4, 7 on the Dark Arbok. 4, 10 on the Dark Slowbro. 7 on the Giovanni's Persian. 6, no price on the Mr. Mime, though, huh? So that's Jungle Mr. Mime. Yeah, I mean, he looks like he's light-played. The back looks good. I'll give you 15 for the Articuno and Zapdos. Uh, is that the price I listed them at? If that's the price I set them out, go ahead. Are you asking for like a lower price? 
this this actually is my lower price for these cards. I'm trying to like low ball guesstimate. I'm not trying to like high ball estimate. So these already are my low prices. Mr. Mime. He doesn't look bad, actually. Tempted to grade him. Yeah, he's being sent off to be graded. He's being sent off to be graded. Mr. Mime. Who doesn't love Mr. Mime? Honestly, one of the best Pokemon in the entire franchise. Machamp, huh? Articuno Zapdos. Articuno Zapdos. Give me a minute. Let's find those cards real fast. That's a Zapdos. That might be the one he's referring to. And here's the Articuno. That is what he's referring to. Dark Golbat in our book. Dark Golbat in our book. There's two Arbox. So here's a Arbok. We love vintage cards. Vintage cards are so cool. We're in the Dark Arbok. Oh, here it is. Was it 12? Dark, Golbat, and Arbok. What is he referring to? I think you underpaid. And Arbok. So I've got an Arbok here for $7 and another one for $8, but what you paid is just $8. So I'm a little confused, Justin. I think you might have miscalculated. <laughs> well, let me get these. This is for an ID now. Let's get it into your bag real fast. Here it is. Yeah, I'm just trying to get rid of a few of these. So I have too many of them. They're hard to keep track of. Hypno Smeargle. There's a $17 Jolteon. Should I just have that graded? You know, I, I'm pricing these like 17 near mint. It's silly of me because uh, the, the smart thing, obviously, would just be to have these graded. Yeah. Find a Moltres. So, like, let's say this returns as a six. I actually still believe it will sell really easy. There were seven or eight on Arbok and eight on Golbat. So, he said Dark Golbat and Arbok. So, this is what I have, Justin. You paid $8. Uh, I think you might have been paying for this Dark Arbok. And then we have this Dark Golbat, which is an additional $4. Uh, you owe $4 for the Dark Gold Bat. Alakazam and coughing. Alakazam and coughing. Oh, nice. The uh, Rocket Returns coughing, right? Give me a moment. Alakazam. It's funny you grabbed that because I was just getting ready to sleeve him up to be sent off to be graded. Was he in the stack over here? I was just getting ready to send him off to be graded. Because I realized with the near mint ones that I don't see why I don't just grade them. Here you go. And uh, the... What was it? The coughing? There you go. Give me that gold bat. Give me that gold bat. So who bought that? So WW. Yeah, let me take another look at that Alkazam. Oops. So the coughing's mint. I already know. Yeah. All right. I think if I'm being smarter, I probably would have just sent them all off to be graded and then started selling them. <laughs> Near Mint Base Set Alkazam. What is he actually worth, huh? Or not Near Mint, I'm sorry. Excellent. I actually have two more.
This Alakazam and this Alakazam hadn't even been given a price yet. Is Gessie here? What? So, Justin, I got that Dark Golbat and Dark Arbok for you. I'm just going to send these Alakazams off for grading. Probably shouldn't have been selling any of them. How much for the Polyrath? Oh, the Polyrath? Uh, I will sell one. Oh, well, they're, we would have to decide which one, actually, because I'm sure the grade on the card actually affects the value of the card quite a bit. Yeah, I should have just done that from the start. I'm so dumb. Possible to show the Arbok and Golbat a little closer? I probably could. Uh, here is a Polyrath. Here's a Gyarados. Here's another Polyrath and another Polyrath. Here's a base set Raichu. Here's a Shadowless Starmie. Bunch of Japanese cards. Wow, that's a nice looking card. These are both nice looking. Base set Clefairy. Oh, this is considered rare, huh? This guy is too. So this is like double rainbow energy or something like that. Oh, I see. see I don't think this will pull a 10, unfortunately. How about this Clefairy? Let's take a close look at the Clefairy. I mean, she's not that bad. I'm just gonna send her off. Why am I why am I selling these? See, I'm I'm crazy, guys. I make no sense. I probably paid a lot for them too, is the funny thing. And now I'm just trying to get rid of them because I got more than I could handle. When they're PSA graded, they're they're much easier to understand. This is like Dark Golbat or something. It's a really cool card. Neo Destiny set or something like that, but it's Japanese. Look at that moon behind him. What was I still considering trading for your Morpeko? I I need time to think about it, Justin. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Morpeko myself. He probably does have a value. I think he'd probably be valued at fifty for a little while. I don't know if he'll ever be worth a hundred because he's not the secret rare in the box. I think he'll probably max out around fifty sixty dollars if he's a ten. If he comes back a nine, then I just get fricked. Shadowless Starmie, probably a lower grade on that Shadowless Starmie. I'll hold on to it in this case sleeve just in case it's worth it. How much for both there because of all plumes? Hmm, that's a good question. Let me sleeve these up. Take a look at this Raichu real fast. You know, he is scuffed to death, isn't he? How does the back of the card look? But you know, he doesn't have any damage on him. He doesn't have any damage on him. Raichu is the sexiest base set card, is he? Whoa, what? This card's so good. It's off center on the bottom. Whoa, this card's like an eight. It's like an eight polyrath. It's got edgeware there. I'll consider trading this one as a light play. So I got one being sent off now. That is a cool card, man. Oh, man, he's got all this edgeware down here. I feel like it just doesn't matter. Oh, no, I'm out of, I'm out of deck sleeves. Hold on. I'm out of savers. Not deck sleeves, card protectors. Used them all up after we opened up those gem heroes. 
gym challenge, I mean. Yeah, I'm being silly, man. I should just be grading these. I don't know what I'm thinking. All right, I tell you what. I've already got a polyrath being sent off. I don't really know what these are worth. Maybe eight bucks. Justin says, don't forget to back, back mine. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. Let's see, where is Justin, by the way? Justin had some modern cards, I think. Put these up top. <laughs> I don't know where your bag went, Justin. I don't know where your bag went. Oh! Don't have a bag. Oh, there you go. I thought you had a bag. Oh, you have the more Peko. That's what you have. That's why I thought you had a bag. There you go, Justin. Polyamorous. All right, sounds good, man. I don't judge. Take the one in the front here. Here you go. Assuming that's Weekend Wolf. Sweet. Super sweet. Fix this real fast. That was Weekend Wolf. Let me just check these real fast. That's tempting. That's tempting. I mean, they're all tempting. I like this one a lot. Problem is, my my box up here is filling up. See that? It's, it's like basically full. So I'm I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna where I'm gonna store these. I guess is the right word. I don't really know where I store them if I keep filling these card savers up with cards to be sent off to be graded. How much for the Vaporeon? He was pretty cheap. He's got a lot of scuffing on him. Excuse me, scuffing on him. I had a hiccup there. Vaporeon was four. Oh, these are a bunch of common and commons. Well, these are rare, actually. For that electrode hollow. For the electrode hollow. Raffle a few light played cards off as a group. Would you guys like that? I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm crazy. I'm off my nut. Let's get uh, $80 of them together. 6, 16, 26, uh, 33, 37, uh, 41, 45, 50. Uh, three. 53 plus 15 is 68. Uh, 70, say, uh, 68, 76, 76, 70, uh, 81, 85. All right, so here's 85. So I just pulled off the top. Eighty-five, eighty-nine. We're throwing in the Vaporeon now. So how about this? Would, would you guys raffle off? Or go for a raffle on those? Is it worth it? Trade my Marpeco for thirty dollars for lotto tickets. Uh, I will accept that if you want. If you lose the lotto, you're going to be sad, though. So think about that. All right. We'll call this lotto two, then. Lotto two is just a group of vintage hollows, lightly played, mostly.
what did I say? So 90, so whatever that is divided by five. Give me a minute. 18, I'm gonna do 19 tickets to cover the PayPal fee too. All right. It has begun. That is Lotto 2 there. If you want it, it's for this baggie of vintage hollows. Do I have any? No. I thought I had a lot of two. Can I get a look at the hollow vial plumes? Oh, right. Sorry about that, Miles. I was totally distracted. Give me one sec. Lightly played lotto. Put me down on that lightning energy ticket. Here they are. So we got two vile plumes. They're both Erica's vile plumes. One Japanese, one English. Bring. Lotto two, please. Also, what about those rocket packs? All right. So it looks like he's really good here. But the problem is, when you get up to this corner, the edge kind of uh, bends upward. It's not frayed, but it appears to be bent slightly. Okay, so he, uh, and he's got frayed edges. Well, not frayed, I'm sorry, he's got edge wear. So he's definitely not a 10. He, he's looking more like a, maybe a 7 or something. This card appears to be slightly off-center to the left. It's got some scuffing on it. Uh, I was, I'm seeing white dots, uh, maybe like what you would call edge wear a little bit. Hmm. How about five bucks and seven bucks? Would you do that, Mahasvara? A total of 12? And then let's see what's going on here. Andre would like the lightly played lotto. Here you go, Andre. All right. And then we've got DL. Whoa, DL's going deep. There you go. Oh, snap. It'll take the vile plumes. It'll take the vile plumes. Mahasvara. And Mahasvara has a bag right over here. Where'd you go? JC Sora. I know you have a big bag. We'll just put him in the big bag. Whoa! There you go, Mahasvara. Yeah. Jim. What? Oh, it's Temlet. How's it going, Temlet? There's Sagar. How's it going, Sagar? Temlet has returned, everyone. Temlet, do you believe in fortune, in luck? Maybe there are eight Blaine's Charizards in these packs. Two ticks for Lotto two. So this is where this is how many tickets are done. This is how many tickets are left. Set that there. Let's go ahead and get Temlet's pack. Are you ready, Temlet? Oh, snap. Ooh, baby. Hot mama. Ooh. Two for Lotto 2 and trade line more pedo for $30 of BL Vintage Holos if you're down. I'm down if you really want to. I'll do it. I would accept 30. I think that's uh, fair because I think that card, uh, since it's uh, full art but not a secret rare, probably a 30 to $50 price range is probably correct. But the risk is all on me. If it doesn't pull a 10, I'm going to be screwed. Okay, we'll place that there. Here we go. So you got Koga. So there are actually some cards in here that are really nice to pull, like Names Chansey, Koga's Trap Fixed, uh, and Imakuni's. Dodo, which nobody pulled. Nobody pulled an Imakuni's Dodo, which means it might just not be in the box this time. Porygon, Kadabra, Mr. Mime, Ponita, 
Hypno, and that's going to be all your hollow reverse hollows. No luck there. Let's see what your hollow card is. Good luck, template. Just place these back in here. You can sleeve them up later on your own time. There we go. And you got nice Giovanni Smachoke. Woohoo! It wasn't just a trainer card. Woo! How many Giovanni's much? You know what? To be fair, there were more Blaine's Charizards in the box than there were actual Giovanni trainer cards. Uh, but yeah, that's a solid pull. Okay, let's go ahead and bag it up. Bag it up, bag it up. Mod Champ, you got one arm, one for each girl. So you got four girls. Makes perfect sense. Since Giovanni was a baller, we all know it. Mazvar says, wow, only one Arcanine in the box. I noticed that as well. The Arcanine appeared to have been kind of rare this time. So this is going to be Tamlet. Machoke me, daddy. Oh, did I say Giovanni's Machoke? This is Giovanni's Mod Champ. Should say the right name, shouldn't I? Okay. Sagar says two for Lotto 2 and trade my more Peko for $30 of vintage. He wants the price card. Let's give him the price card. So this is the current price card. Let me mention some cards are not available yet. We have Unified Minds is 5 for 20. Sword and Shield Base Set, 5 for 20. Guardian Rising, 5 for 20. Cosmic is sold out, but I have more on the way. Team Up's available. It's very expensive, okay? Team Up's 5 for 28. Unbroken Bonds, I have more on the way. It's also getting expensive, 5 for 25. Shining Legends is currently sold out. Hidden Fates uh, is 1 for 11, which is a ridiculous price, but... They sell out every time, so you guys really like them. If you like Mewtwo and Mew, you might be interested in Unified Minds Mewtwo and Mew, okay? So that's me giving you some advice, Temla. I know you like Mewtwo and Mew. I can't remember the other Pokemon you like. It's actually pretty reasonably priced, and it has a nice Mewtwo and Mew card in it. Will Cosmic go down to 20? Probably it will go up, because Cosmic is probably out of print now. And as people continue to open them, they will become rarer and rarer. Cosmic is one of the sets that contains a, a secret rare Charizard, so it's going to be a popular set. All right, this is going to be Justin. Sadly. Actually, I bought one of the Charizards the other day. Didn't I show you guys? If you were here, Andre, uh, you might have caught this. Let me show you. Here it is. That's the... Cosmic Eclipse Secret Rare Charizard. Yes, Lotto 2 is $5. That's correct. So this card is in the Cosmic Eclipse set, and it's one of the reasons why this set, along with Unbroken Bonds and Hidden Fates, should become pretty expensive over time. I would say that Burning Shadows is valuable. In fact, it has probably the most valuable Charizard in it right now. However, every time you open up one of these packs, you end up with the Secret Rare being messed up on the back. Temlet says, can I get a Deluxe Pack? We have a variety pack with five different boosters in it. It's got five different boosters, and it's currently $21. So five different boosters, one from each set. The deluxe packs sold out. Those had like hidden fates and shining in them, and they were they were definitely pricier. All these cards just want to slide forward, don't they? You actually got some hidden face packs? No, not yet. They will be here soon. I ordered some. Uh, they're just so expensive now. They're just getting more and more expensive, and uh, it's pretty wild. Unified minds. There you guys go. Temlet says, let's go. Let's go. Let's let's go, Temlet. Let's see what happens. He says, dang, wanted to cut another one. You're crazy, Mahas Vara. Get this man out of here. Maha wants to cut hidden. He wants to cut a shining Charizard. I can feel it. It will be the ultimate blue balls or something. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> All right, here we go. 
That's going to be energy card. Here we go. Ultra Ball, Pinsir, Team Skull Grunt, Pick a Peck, Spiro, Fomantis, Morlil, Skarmory, Crushing Hammer, and Beware. Pack number two. Guess he's like, no, stop cutting. <laughs> we got Energy Switch, Bisharp, Salazzle, Q Font, Ball Toy, Chin Chow, Sizzle P. Lotto two. Lotto two. We'll get you in just a minute. Unified Minds. Unified Minds. It's so unified. By Burrell, Orangaru, Q Bone, Young Goose. Archaeops. No luck so far. We got two packs left. Come on, we need some last pack luck. Where's the last pack luck? Well, we're not at the last puck. Uh, last puck. Last pack yet. Snow Runt, Pancham, Bell Sprout, Cottony, Carvana, Sligu, and Lilligant. And here's the last pack. Let's just see what happens. Three, four. We have Beast Bringer, Frogadier, Radar, Polyswag, Coughing, Zubat, Oddish, Cottony, and Tangrowth. Ooh, that is some tough luck. Let's get you the pity pull. The pity pull is Taurus GX. Brought to you by Cheese. <laughs> All right, this is going to go into your bag template. Rip. <laughs> no pack luck. Well, you know, with the... Uh, Variety packs. I think that your odds are higher for a crazy set, but also your odds are higher for a no pulls. Lodo two. <sighs> I'm almost out of my drink. What am I gonna do? Aaron is in the lotto. Here you go, Aaron. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. Unified and hidden. Unified and hidden. Template, I don't have any hidden fates. I'm so sorry. I don't have any hidden fates. They're going to show up very soon, but I don't have them. I can uh, refund you or apply them towards something else. But let me finish getting these tickets. So we got Aaron done. We can wolf once into Lotto 2 as well. Okay, there's four left. Someone sent TCC a leaf blower. <laughs> we don't have any Shining Legends either. They're all sold out. I have more Shining Legends on the way. Yeah, they're sold out. I have more Shining Legends on the way. I have more Hidden Fates on the way. I've got Unbroken Bonds on the way. I think I even have a little more Team Up on the way. I got more Cosmic on the way. I did not refresh Guardian Rising. Uh, I didn't refresh Sun and Moon base set. I don't think I even refreshed a Sword and Shield base set. So some sets are being refreshed. Some I'm not worrying about as much at the moment. Template says Unified Minds. Let's get that Unified Minds on, man. Where's Unified? Here it is. Lodo 2. Lodo 2. Symphonia's in too, huh, man? All right, here we are. Simon says, wait for Rebel Clash. Well, no, I, I want to keep a, a supply of Sword and Shield going the whole time because it does have Marnie. It has the, uh, what is it, the Quick Ball. It has Zacian V, Secret Rare, Zamazenta Secret Rare. These are really nice-looking cards. So I don't, and, and it's got the Snorlax V Max. So I don't see any reason to not keep it stocked. It's a good set. It's, it's not as good as some of the Sun and Moon sets, obviously, but I think that what you have going on with the Sun and Moon sets is they were kind of like at the end of their series, so Nintendo was probably pulling out all the stops and bringing out the best cards at that point. We'll probably see something like that happen with Sword and Shield as well. Thunderous, Dragonair, Steeny, Padove, Muna, Pikachu, Lickitung, Purloin, Eel, Ectric, and Zygarde. Pack number two. Three, four. We've got Archon, Lampant, Breloom, Fomantis, Sawaddle, Mariani, Litwick, Cubone, Salandit, and Salazzle. Damn it. <laughs> TCC, instead of the hidden, give me some lotto. Sounds good, Template. I'll give you a bonus lotto since you did that for me. Makes everything easier. 
Magmar, Tynamo, Cosmog, Salandit, Gibble, Lickitung. Oh, here we go. We got a hit. Mega Sableye, Tyranitar, GX. Awesome. One of my favorite cards. All right. After that, what do we got? See, I think that the rewards are more consistent when you're pulling from the same box rather than from a variety set. But then you could get real lucky with the variety set. So it's all about taking on more risks, basically. I think there was a rumor saying there was going to be a really cool holiday set. That makes sense. Release the best sets around the holiday. You know, Hidden Fates, if you guys were paying attention to it, it was missing quite a lot of popular Pokemon in it. There's a lot of Pokemon missing from Hidden Fates. So I wouldn't be surprised if they did Hidden Fates Volume 2 and started to cover more of the Pokemon as Shining Pokemon. All right, Temlet, you end up pulling Mega Sableye Tyranitar. And he says he will do the energy cards. Shy pulls. Yeah, they're a little cold right now. So, Temlet, I'm going to give you these three. I'm actually going to give... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to give him these three. He's getting a bonus card. I'll call this the wild card. Look at Cheese Comet. Do I have to? Can I trade my Leaf Blower card? <laughs> uh, you really could if you wanted to. Let's see. This is going to be... Oh, right. Template. <laughs> the. <laughs> Spelled your name wrong there. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll still know who you are. Themlet. <laughs> No, wait till I get paid to finish Lotto 1. Shiny Pokemon for the win. Yeah, you know, like, there's no shiny Blastoise. There's no shiny Venusaur, for example. So there's a lot of shiny Pokemon that weren't in Hidden Fates. Okay, so that was Temlet. Symphonia says a Lotto. Am I opening other boxes up? It is a temptation. Would you like me to? I didn't time you out. We are nearly done. We got one more energy card. If you're going to buy it, call it out. Leaf blower. Field blower, I mean. Oh, God. It's like I hate leaf blowers in real life. I hate them. <laughs> rocket. What boxes would you open? Uh, I would definitely consider a rocket box. Yeah. Is that the last ticket for Lotto 1? It's the last ticket for Lotto 2. And I believe Nighty just said he would buy it. Nighty King. Would you guys like me to shuffle these or put them in the drum? Nighty Queen. <laughs> How much per pack? Well, they would be pretty pricey, Temla. I'm not going to lie. Uh, the vintage boxes are going for, like, I think the cheapest rocket box is 4600 something like that. Uh, and honestly, I'm not going to open it unless it's probably going for closer to five. All right, you're in. Because honestly, with the boxes, what's my incentive for opening it? I might as well just sit on it and wait for it to turn into 5000 anyways. So I would want a little bit of a premium for, for getting rid of one of my boxes rather than letting it appreciate. Does that make sense? So I could sit it, I could have it sit there and appreciate, or I could drain you guys, and you wouldn't be able to buy my other cards because you'd be drained, and I would just be losing one of my appreciating assets. So there has to be a little, little bit of a, a little bit of a premium, in my opinion. I've been doing a lot of study on this kind of stuff. Oh, well, that didn't really work too well. Wait a second. Let me do it like this. I've been doing a lot of research on like gold and silver, and Bitcoin, and I've been learning about baseball cards. And I've been learning about a few concepts. One of them's uh, basically premiums that retailers use in order to turn a profit when they flip cards. And basically, the retailers, what they realize is that there's no reason for them to flip cards if they don't make any money on it at all. Because if that was the case, then they go through all this work of paying taxes and displaying a product and then selling it, shipping it maybe. And you did that all for free. You know, there's no reason to do it. But you also carry a lot of risk when you hold on to all these assets as well. And then if it's an appreciating asset, then you really should not be selling it. Does that make sense? You should not be selling an appreciating asset. So when you have gold and silver, 
there's a buyer's asking price and a seller's asking price. And this will kind of determine something called the spot price. Uh, but anytime you go to buy silver or gold, you will find that there's a premium cost to the actual, you know, if you're going to buy it, you will find there's a premium cost to it. And that has everything to do with kind of like, kind of like the logistical flow. There, there's a, there's a supply chain that you have to go through in order to obtain the silver. Like it goes through a mint, it goes through a process where they, they ensure that it's not fake. Uh, they might be, you know, you have to play, you have to pay overhead costs, my overhead cost might be like shipping supplies, right? Uh, so there's a there's a lot of stuff involved in it in the supply chain, and so that's why they have a premium when you go to buy silver and gold, and you try to buy it close to the spot price, but you know there always will be a premium. So I learned a lot from that, and I'm like, okay, so if I'm going to buy, sell, and trade cards for the next 20 years, I have to understand all these ideas and try to be kind of professional at it. So it's a really interesting stuff. It, it all it, it applies completely the same for like flipping sneakers. I was learning about that. You know, in order to be better at this, I've been trying to learn everything, everything I can. Okay, let's go ahead and split this. All right, it's just been split. And now I'm going to split it again. Okay, here we go. Here's the winner. And here's the second chance. Second chance goes to Sagar. Cool. Next set, we'll do them folded in half, okay? Oops. Yeah, I've been learning a lot about that stuff. It's very interesting. I'm anticipating having to pay 15% taxes on everything we've been doing. The winner is Weekend Wolf. Congratulations, Weekend Wolf. He picks up Lotto 2. Sweet. Holy smokes, man. Chansey, Rocket, Sneak Attack, Dark Hypno, Dark Hypno, Pidgeot, Magneton, Jolteon, Giovanni, Dark Slowbro, Lieutenant Surges, Raichu, and Dark Magneton. Hannah's like, nice. <laughs> Where did he go? Where is Weekend Wolf? He's on the table somewhere. Here he is. Congratulations. Congratulations. Can we trade TCC? Uh, I don't know. Can we? I'm, I'm still, I'm, I'm still trying to decide. Uh, I like the more Peko. I like it. Uh, I think that thirty dollars will be okay. What do you guys think? Thirty bucks for more Peko. So what? You guys want to have that run again? I I noticed that went through pretty quickly, and I am trying to sell these off. So that's why I've got them priced the way they're priced. Let's see, eight, twelve, thirty, thirty nine. 47. Let's add this one. 50, 56, uh, 60, 68, 68, 75, 82, 87, 90, 95, 98. Do I have another marked one? Okay. 102. So we'll do $100 instead of 102. That means, pretty simply, there's going to be 20 tickets. I'm going to do another run on this, since you guys seemed interested in it. We're going to do 20 tickets for this one. And you pick up all these. So Kangaskhan, Electrode, Dark Raichu, Sabrina's Alkazam, Dark Slowbro, this cool Rocket Returns Magnemite, which is actually mint. This is pack fresh. Dark Persian, Pidgeot, Koga, Magneton, Muk, Entei. This is a Black Star promo, so this is actually a vintage card if you didn't know that. Venomoth, Mewtwo, Pinsir, and Magneton. It's kind of a thick pile, actually. It's thicker than the last one, believe it or not. So that's a lot of two. I'm just starting it back up since you guys liked it. Why not? Let's do it again. Okay. Sweet. Place this over here. You got Entei for going to go see the movie. Oh, very cool. Did you? Did you? <laughs> Temlet says, sword and shield. Good luck, Temlet. He's going deep.
Pack number one. Pack number two. Pack number three. Oh, snap. I just pulled Zard and Cosmic. Nice, man. Pack number four. And pack number five. Alright, so let's see what you get in pack number one. Temlet, Corvus Squire, Great Ball, Potion, Goldeen, Roselia, Joltik, Silicobra, Blip Bug. Oh, you got a full art. Wait, is this a secret rare? I think this is the secret rare. <laughs> you got the secret rarest Don Jerner. <laughs> oh my god, what a Pokemon. <laughs> I mean, it's a secret rare, so it's a good pull. Very cool. <laughs> Nice job. Let's see what else we get. It's Don Jerner. <laughs> he looks like a Kirby or something like that because of the eyes. Rhyhorn and Frostmoth. It's Don Jerner. The Pokemon that stones you to death. death. Popular amongst traditional religions. Drizzle, Stunfizz, Gamper, Scaruppy, Wulu, Sobble, Dottler, Drapion. Rock Kirby, that's right. It's like when Rock, uh, it's like when Kirby turns into a rock. Killing me, TCC. <laughs> Wulu and Tapu Koko. Okay, so you're picking up the Secret Rare and a V card. Very nice. Cheese says, time for bed. You heading to bed, Cheese? It's coming that time of the night. So getting that late. Hitmonchan, Pinkurchin, Blipbug, Rhyhorn, Minchino, Chinchow, Pinkurchin, and Stone Journer again. Good night, Cheese. Thanks for all the donations, by the way, the 90s music. <laughs> there you go, Temlet. Hey, you pulled a secret rare tonight. Okay. What are you gonna do if I'm not? <laughs> you ain't got you got nothing on me, cheese. What you gonna do about it? You got nothing on me, mister. <laughs> hey mister, do you show code cards? I'm from Italy. <laughs> I'm from Brazil. <laughs> hey mister. You do any giveaways? Night from Brazil. <laughs> Brazil. <laughs> Lodo two. Lodo two. That's Anthony Seven. How's it going, Anthony? I haven't seen you in a while, Anthony. Going for those vintage cards. I don't blame you. That's for Anthony Seven. I do not blame you. How many left in Lotto One? Lotto One is pretty fresh. Lotto One's at the beginning. Oops, wait a second. That's the wrong bag. Here we go. Tell you what, I'm going to show off the best one in the front to tease you guys a little bit. Here we go. We're going to do the Dark Raichu in the front, I think. Just to get a tease on. A little Pokemon strip tease. Lotto 2 and trade me. I'll drop to $25 if it makes it better. Oh, man. Man, you really want that. If you really want to, Justin, I I will do thirty since you're buying into these lotos anyways. We'll do we'll do thirty on your more peco. I don't necessarily want them, but you know what? Uh, I think I can make use of them more than you. I think I, I'm I'm comfortable enough that I think I could sell them more than you. So we'll do thirty on your more peco, and uh, you know I'll thank you for participating in the lotos. How about that? Thank you, Justin. Justin's like trade my more peco. People all trying to trade off their. They're goof cards on me, man. They're like, I don't want that card. You want that card. I don't want that card. 
That's the card you want. How did you know? <laughs> so let's see. Where did the more Peko go? He was like in the front. I'm sending him to the top. I know you want that more Peko TCC. <laughs> I'll sell them to you for 30 bucks. <laughs> Whoa. Well, we got this new baggie now. Let's go ahead and get these in here. You don't want the card. You want Hot Pocket. That's right. Hot Pocket. Who doesn't want Hot Pocket? All right. Wow. What a night. What a night. We are at 85 minutes. So we're on the second half of the stream. What do we got for you tonight? A whole box of Rocket Pokemon cards. Rocket Booster, Pe Booster PX. I could open my Rocket cards. Hmm. Mazvar says, how about that Beedrill? I don't know what to do for the Beedrill, honestly. I think it's probably a 10. It would be easier for me to sell you the Beedrill after it's been graded. Uh, but there's none available. So if I were to give up the Beedrill I have now, I couldn't just go buy one. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do on the Beedrill. Would, would love to see you open Japanese Rocket Returns. Oh, Simon, that would be very expensive. That would be like 6K, man. No way. DL says, first edition Rocket. <laughs> you guys are already probably well, pretty well drained after the gym too, right? There's no way you got money for, for Rocket. That would shock me if you had money for that. All right, guys, we're just going to open Rocket all the time. <laughs> Look at Wicked Wolf sweating. He's like <sighs> hyperventilating. Can we do my Vintage Hollows while we wait? Can we do my Vintage... Oh, right. Here you go, Justin. So Justin wanted to trade the more Peko for Vintage Hollows. So first of all, let me get a price on this Yenma. Probably going to do $12 mint on it. And the Dark Flaffy will probably be $7 mint. Yeah, that pack was a light pack, sadly. All right. Let's see what's left. What do we have? There's a Mew from Hidden Fates. Polyrath for, what was it, 8? Dark Arbox, 7. Uh, I don't have a price on Machamp, actually. I don't know what he goes for. Dark Machamp, Hypno, Smeargle, Lieutenant Surges, Magneton, Hypno, Dark... Oh, well, these are all not priced. Here's a 10 Dark Dug Trio. I'd probably do like a 5 on this Nido King. He's off center. Here's a Magneton 6. Here's a Rainbow Energy. I don't have a price on him either. So the problem we have going on right now, Justin, is most of these are unpriced. Here's a nice looking Zapdos. We're, don't, don't offer for the Zapdos. Let me look at him. Yeah, he's just going to be sent off to be graded. <laughs> I'm sorry. Polyrath, Hypno, and any Dark, and the Nido King. Oh, okay. Let's take a look at that real fast. Put the Zapdos up top. So he said Polyrath. Hypno. Wait, like this Hypno? This Hypno or Dark Hypno? There's a difference. Polyrath Hypno and the Nido King. Is the Hypno Dark? I do have both the Dark and a regular Hypno. The Nido King, right? I said five on the Nido King. There you go. Was that a Smeargle? That's right. I have a Smeargle in my collection somehow. I don't even remember when I got him. I just do have one. Dark Hypno, best Hypno art. I agree, actually. It's really good. Yeah, this Smeargle from Neo. Oh my god, I'm blinding myself. Oh, he looks nice on the back. Tempted to grade him. Um, hmm. I'll have to think about that. You got a non hollow Dragonite? I believe I used to have a non hollow Dragonite. I think he's sold already. I think he sold a long time ago. Let me check my other pile, though. I got this huge pile right here. I 
know, it's like a fairy. King is gone. What do we got going on here? Some reverse hollow energies. No, those are all Japanese. This is like my goof pile right here. Well, these are all Japanese. Yeah, this is my goof pile. No, I didn't see anything in there. How about this pile? Oh, here's a pile of non hollows. Ooh, that ditto looks good. Nope, no Dragonite in there either. Anorexic Smeargle. Move that over there. That was eight. I don't really know what this is. Well, let's say this is five, so you're at 13. How about, uh, so do you want all four of them? I'll just give you all four. Would that be fine? Oh, he just wants the Dark Hypno, and then I'll take any trainer Pokemon if I can afford it. Trainer Pokemon? I don't know what you mean by that. This Dark Hypno looks really nice. Let me take a close look at him. Yeah, he's got some scuffing. Yeah, he looks really good. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm aware of that, Mahaswara. <laughs> hey, Mister, you got any code cards? Oh, the gym set Pokemon. Um, hmm. I've got, like, some non-hollows, probably, that we might... Well, hold on. Let me just check through here. So I got this flipped-over pile. Why does this exist? Dunsparth. Golem. These are like from some old sets that aren't super old yet. Nido King, Dark Blastoise, Nido Queen, Magneton, Brock's Licky Licky, Nido Queen, Kangaskhan, Clefable. There we go. Flip this around now. Sexy Reds Pikachu promo. That's right. Wild Buffet, Ladybug, Mareep, Dark Dragonite, Dark Slow King, Pillow Swine, Mischievous. I think that card's sticking to the card behind it. Got any codes, mister? Hey, mister. Got any codes, man? Hey, man. Got any Pokemans? Do you like Charizard? Come on now. Oh, snap. Two Togetix. So you can call any of these if you want. How much is that Togetic? Uh, that is a great question. I would probably do seven. I would do six dollars on this Togetic. This Togetic's fancier, but I'm only going to do eight on it. So six and eight probably for the Togetics. They're pretty worn out. Hey, mister, got any code cards? They're pretty worn out, <laughs> just so you know. Nido King, you got the Nido King. Uh, the Dark Blastoise is probably too expensive, so I couldn't do the Dark Blastoise for you. All right, there you go, Justin. Thanks for the trade. TGO. You ended up with these. Pallywrath, Jovanus Nidoking, Dark Hypno, and Nidoking. Not bad. Not bad considering you traded me a uh, a modern more Peko. More Peko, the card everyone literally wants. Everyone's tripping over more Peko. They're like, oh, damn, I can't wait to get more Peko. God, I hope I can actually turn them into something. All right, there you go. Don't say I didn't do nothing for you. DL says TGO. All right, so DL just snatched this up right away. It's a little scratched up, DL. That's why the price was so low on it. That's why I was saying, uh, let's see. Where did DL go? Move this box real fast. He's a little scratched up. Ask JC. Uh oh. Togetic. Togetic, uh, you're actually late on it, Nighty. You're late. This one sold, but you know it's it's, it's seven. It's eight dollars because it's so scratched. It's a very rare card and valuable, but it is scratched. Where did you go? I know you were on this table. JC, you gotta be this guy, right? Oh, this is you. Yeah, that's you. Okay. I've been buying rocket returns, even though I've told you not to. Natty says, since DL is a jerk, what? 
I'll take the second one. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry, Nighty. DL is a jerk. Got any $3 hollows? Uh, maybe. Back so big you can't see the name. How much was one of those Tyranitars? The non hollow Tyranitars, I think those are from a popular set, right? Those are from the Neo set. But they're non hollow. The question is whether I should just send them out to be graded in the first place. So I got way too many of these, which is exactly why I'm selling them. Too much thinking, man. I, I'd rather just have fewer cards and do less thinking. It's is a little too much for my poor pea-sized brain. Where'd he go? Were they in this pile? Oh, here they are. They're they're back here. Here they are. Yeah, so these are both from the Neo set. And they might be gradable, actually. So I need to take a look. Yeah, they look pretty good. You want to make me an offer, Nighty? So these are non hollow Tyranitars from the Neo Discovery, I think. I think that's the name of it. These are non hollow Tyranitars. I mean, I can just go look them up. I've just been accepting offers to get rid of these fast. I'm scared that I'm selling them, like, way beneath their value. So let's see. Neo Discovery Tyranitar. There it is. Mine are in what I would call near mint condition. So we're going to say NM. We're going to choose buy now. We're going to go buy shipping lowest first. I'm going to say minus hollow. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to say minus hollow because some people say non-hollow in their description. Okay, it's about six bucks. Well, that one's seven. It goes up to ten pretty fast. That's Japanese, actually. Nine, ten, eighteen. Hmm, who's selling this one? Wild card cyclone. Yeah, I'll just, uh, I'll follow that. So I'll do $6 on these if you want them. $6 on the Tyranitars. Sorry if my voice just got real loud. I was facing away from the camera, and now I'm facing toward it. Voila. Ta-da. <laughs> now he says I'd give you a seven. How much for Glaceon? I have a Glaceon? What are you talking about? Justin, you did get Dark Hypno. Trust me, you did get it. Do, 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 do. I don't think I have a Glaceon. Maybe I'm wrong about that. So that was Nighty picking up the Tyranitar. It's in a blue sleeve. Let me take another look. I think that was Absol, not, not Glaceon. Whichever one looks better. This is Absol. This is Absol, and this is a card from 2013, so it's seven years old. I don't really know. I have no idea what set this is from. Septal, Venusaur, Dialga, Dark Blastoise, Nighty Queen, Magneton, Oddish, Focus Band, Brox, Licky Licky, Power Keepers. You guys make me an offer on the card, and I'll just sell it to whoever makes a nice offer, and that's it. Because I, I don't... There are so many prices I could look up. I The whole reason I'm selling them this way is because I don't want to have to stop and look up literally every card because I have, like, obviously a whole thick pile of cards. So if you want this card, just let me know what you'd like to pay for it, and I'll consider it. It looks like it's in very good condition, actually. When you look at the back of the card, it definitely looks like you could pull at least a nine. Oh, wow. That card's in very good condition. I'm selling my whole collection. No, not at all. That's not the case. I, I have a bunch of raw cards that have just been sitting on my desk doing nothing. I don't like it when anything in my collection doesn't do anything, so I'm trying to trim it up a little bit. So this is a Reverse Hollow Rare Absol from 2013. Uh, it's in pretty good condition. You can see that the edges look good. Not really any white dots, to tell you the truth. And uh, I looked at it, and I didn't actually see any scratches. eBay says it's two. 
hmm, I don't think I'm willing to sell it at two. I think that it looks like it's in too nice of a condition. If if somebody wants to make an offer better than two, I'll consider it. If But if the offer is as low as two, I'll probably just hold on to it. Hannah says five for the Absol. I'll, I'll accept five. I think five's a better situation. I think five's closer to what I was going to set on him anyways. Weekend Wolf says you can't even pay less than five on Streamlabs. I don't know what you're talking about, Weekend Wolf. People pay less than five all the time. People will do like dollar donations. Yeah, the card's actually in pretty good condition. Oh, Weekend Wolf points out maybe because I'm Canadian. Justin says, was that a Scyther? Could have been. Let me take a look. I had a few Scythers. I don't... This is Septile. Whooper. Septile again. <laughs> Two Septiles. Butterfree. Caterpie. Parasect. Beedrill. Night of Queen again. Uh, I, I think I have a Scyther over here, but it's damaged. Yeah, it is. I remember this one. So this is a real damaged Scyther. You can see he's got a crunch over here, crunch here, crunch here. I mean, I gave this away for free. I think that was the original plan was to give it away for free. Oops. How much for the Sabrina's Alkazam? I might have had a price on that one, actually. That one might have had a price. Shred it. Nah. Somebody give it to their kid. It'll make them happy. What happened to the Sabrina's Alkazam? Did the Sabrina's Alkazam get entered into the lotto? All right, so those are those rocket packs. Is it in this pile? Maybe it's in this pile. Uh, the Sabrina's Alkazam appears to be in the lotto now. Oh, wait, unless it's in this pile. Give me a second. Give me a sec. No? Hmm. Must be in the lotto. Oh, the Sabrina's Alkazam got sent off for grading, did it? Nope, it's right here. Sabrina's Alkazam, excellent nine. Justin says, I'll take the Scyther. Justin says, I'll take the Scyther. You know what? We'll do that. Justin, you can have it. You're here. You're in the live You're in the live stream. You're participating. Why don't you just have this out there? I don't even care. It's not a big deal. I'm not gonna lose sleep at night over like a two dollar card, honestly. <laughs> that would be crazy. I got this whole box to figure out. This box is ridiculous. This magneton. It's a cool card, but it's like super warped. Kangaskhan, that's a hollow. See, I don't even know what to do with this. This break card is garbage looking. I don't like the way it looks at all. We got these reverse hollows from Hidden Fates. Here's a Magnazone level 10 and a Dusknar level 10. This weird Rockets Ra Raikou, Erica's Vileplume, whatever that is. Dawn Fan, Lieutenant Surge, Magneton. So I have like more cards. I guess I'll start submitting them in here into this box to get priced. I do not care about that. Hannah says, give me the energy cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Where's that fairy? Seven. Oops. All right, so these are all the energy cards from Hidden Fates. They're all sleeved up. Uh, if somebody wants them, I'll do... I'll do, I guess, 10 bucks for the for the lot of them. If you want all of them right now, I'll do 10 bucks. That's a little, just slightly more than a dollar per card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, I'll do 10 bucks for seven of them. That's not too bad. Just a little more than a dollar per card. I only, want, I only want to sell them as a lot. I don't want to sell them individually. Looks like I might have enough for almost a second lot. I guess that's why I was selling them is because I knew that people would want them as a lot. So this Magnazone Dusknor, I don't know much about them, but 
I'm pretty sure they are vintage themselves. Here's a bunch of non-hollow vintage. We were doing an energy lotto back then for the non-hollow vintage. Woo, that's a lot of non-hollow vintage. Damn, that's cool. You know, I think it was silly for me to do that. Let's sell them. Let's put them in this box. Put them back here. How much for Erica's Valplume? Uh, where did Erica's Valplume go? You mean the Japanese one? I didn't have another English one, did I? You're talking about... Where did it go? I don't even know where it went. A Japanese one. Uh, probably like four bucks if you're interested. Just to get them out of my hands. Just to get them out of my hands. Where'd it go? I can't find them now. At the end of the box. Oh my god. I got too many cards, guys. See, this is exactly why I'm selling them. Because I got way too many of them. No, you must have meant the end of the box before this pile. Do I have Holocliff, Fable, and Haunter? I used to. I sold them off. So I've sold those off. <laughs> I don't know where it's at. Ah, too many cards, man. This is what happens. Oh, it's right at the very beginning. Who's that? Justin? Justin's like, it's my Erica's Vile Plume now, bitches. Here you go, Justin. How's it going, Dory Man? Dory Man, Dory Man. What else I got in here? Some Japanese trainers. Oh, snap. Wait a second. So this is missing a metal energy and it's missing a dark energy. All right. So the price on that is now $12. My bad. Hey, wait, let me, let me count it. I thought some were missing. What sets are the energies from? How's it going, Sagar? The energy cards are from the Hidden Fates collection. Yeah, these were missing. I didn't even notice. All right. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna sell this for fourteen dollars. I think that's a that's a fair price, right? Am I going crazy? That's all the energies from Hidden Fates. Reverse Hollow energies from Hidden Fates. What are these? I just have, I just have a ton of GX cards that I don't do anything with. Oh, did I say 12? I'm sorry. Yeah, 12 is a fair price. That's why I'm that's what I meant. 12 is a fair price. I just have all these GX cards. Uh, if anyone wanted to buy the GX cards as bulk, I don't know why you would, but I would do a dollar twenty-five per card. You could ask me to just give you one of each. Uh, but I don't recommend it. I don't think they're too terribly valuable. I don't think they're too terribly valuable. And what about this damn card? God, this card's annoying. This card's going to go into the lotto for free. I'm just going to give it to whoever wins. So lotto two, you get this Machamp break card. That's part of lotto two now. This Magneton's so warped. If it were only less warped. How's it going, Bershogun? He says, hi, GE. Hi, Bershogun. I mean, the card is actually in pretty good condition. It's just warped. That's it. It's just got a warp to it. Otherwise, nice. How much for the Vintage Haunter? Do I have a Vintage Haunter? I didn't notice if I had a Vintage ha Haunter. How's it going, PewDiePie Rules? What a name. Hold on, let me look for... I don't think I had a Haunter, but if I did, I'll find it for you. You know what I think is a cool card? Here's a cool card. This Dragonite. That's Dark Dragonite. He looks awesome. Hypno. <laughs> I don't think I had a hot Haunter. 
I might have it in one of my folders, maybe. You want me to look in my folders? If you really want a Haunter, I can offer you one. Can I have the Japanese Sabrina Begins Magneton? Yes. What are you talking about? Sabrina Begins Magneton. Hannah says it's a non-hollow. Oh, okay. Did, did I have a non-hollow Haunter? I didn't even notice. Oh, here we are. Non-hollow Haunter. Didn't even see it. Uh, I'd probably do five bucks on the Haunter, if you're interested. So first edition card, so that's nice. It's no warp, the front of the card is very presentable. How much for the Dragonite? Ooh, that's a good question. What would you guys pay for this fancy Dragonite? He looks to be in fairly good condition. Uh, no, he has a little tiny warp right here, I'd say. You see that? No, he's not that good. Um, I would sell the Dark Dragonite for $5 in that case. He's still presentable, but he's definitely not something you will grade. Brashogan says, are you easily offended or does it usually take a lot to offend you? Uh, I would describe myself as somebody who's super duper woke. <laughs> it's not the right term, obviously, but somebody who's probably been exposed to a lot of ideas at this point. So offend is not really ever the word. I wouldn't say anything offends me at this point. Uh, however, there are like things that I, I have ideological beliefs around that would bother me. That's so yeah, thick skinned is probably, you, you kind of have to be thick skinned to be a YouTuber for any extended period of time. Cause you get people who come out of the woods and they just hate you. They hate you. So yeah, I would say thick skinned. Sure. DL says got five on it. Wait, uh, which one were you going to do? Were you going to do the Dark Dragonite or the Haunter DL? It was the Dark Dragonite, right? DL's back here. I'm guessing it's the Dragonite? Sweet! The Dark Dragonite is an amazing card. I want to show you... You can't even find this card. If you could, I would buy it myself. Look at this. Sabrina behind the Magneton. Oh, here you go. You're looking for this, right? Look at these sexy babies. Oh, man. Reverse Hollow PSA 10 Dark Dragonites. Ooh, mama. Big fan of this. What are these worth? I, I don't even know what these are worth. You know, I bought them when they were fairly cheap, but I do not think that they're actually cheap. I think that these are actually quite expensive. I would not be surprised if the real value of those Dragonites is somewhere around $800, if everyone was aware of them and ready to fight over them. Uh, but, oh, you want to know how much the Sabrina is. The Sabrina? How about $4 for the Sabrina? Would you do 4 bucks? I would do 4 bucks on the Sabrina if you want. Carol Baskin. <laughs> My wife and I rewatched Tiger King. <laughs> it's such a good show. Docu series. Thanks, friend. The Absol and Haunter sounds good. Hannah says thanks, friend. There you go. And I believe I can put these in Weekend Wolf's bag. Is that right? Where do we put Weekend Wolf? He's over here. Weekend Wolf. Are you ready for the weekend? Weekend Wolf picked that Lotto 2 up, didn't he? It's pretty cool. Do you have any extra reverse grass energy? It's the only one I need. Uh, I do, actually. Would you like one? That's a silly question. Of course you would. Uh, would you do a dollar? I would do a dollar for... Tell you what, Nighty. Let me just throw it in your bag, okay? Nighty, I'm just going to give it to you. Don't don't worry about paying me for it. I would sell it to you for like $1.25. But the thing is, PayPal will take 30 cents of that anyways. So, uh, you know, just consider it a gift. There you go. That's the grass energy. Sweet. 
Super sweet. Gift time. That's right. <laughs> it's like a dollar. It's not that big of a gift, is it? Too bad the packs cost so much. Certainly not a dollar when you open the pack, is it? <laughs> you open the pack and you get the energy card instead of something nice. Sabrina, and would you trade my Sable Lightara and Nutar for vintage holos plus maybe Lotto? Uh, okay. Let me take a look. What are you talking about? Um, I'm trying to remember which side of the table you're on. Oh, you're on this side. Your Sableye Tyranitar, what is he referring to? So these are your current cards. Did I already ship off a Tyranitar? Is that what you're referring to? Or do you have a... Maybe you have a card being graded. Give me a second. Give me a second. Jump it back over to the scored. Carol Baskin. Killed her husband. She whacked him. I have a Sableye Tyranitar in the PSA outgoing. Is that what it is? Oh, snap. Uh, let me find it. You know I'm weak for Mega Sableye Tyranitar, but let's see what you got. Care Baskin. <laughs> Such a funny show. Here it is. Uh, well, it is just a normal... It's not a secret rare. It, it would be kind of like the more Peko. It'll have some value, but it's actually not terribly valuable. Mahasvara says, was that the red full holo card? It is. I actually recall paying 15 bucks for it, actually. Paid $15 for him, and now he sits in a box. Because I'm a silly billy. Yeah, I remember bidding that one up. I was like, man, I gotta have it. That was when I was not as good at buying cards, and I was sweating for cards, man. I was like, oh, give me all the cards, man. <laughs> Justin Grove says, I also pay for the grading so we can use that money towards Lotto and Hollow. I mean, this card is basically ready to be sent off for grading. Move over here. Bershogun says, I don't think I'd call it thick-skinned. Flashy. Bershogun says, I've always been sensitive. Yeah, did you see those guys were like, oh, we got to report them. We got to shut them off. Shut them up. We got to shut them up. Is that Ash Ketchup? You figured it out. It's Ash Ketchup. <laughs> okay, so hold on. Fate's Fire would like Sword and Shield. Sounds good. Let's let's see what you get. Good luck, Fate's Fire. We are at nearly two hours for this live stream, so we are going to wrap up soon, everyone. Two. Three. Four. And five. Last card for PX. Last call. Last call for the Booster PX. Got your Booster PX, mister? 7.21 a.m. in UK. How's it going, JC? All right, JC, I'm extending the live stream just for you. <laughs> what do we got here? It's just a... Move this over here for now. All right, so this is for Fate's Fire. Dabul, Wulu, Grookey, Sobble, Rhyhorn, Roselia, Bisharp, and Kaparaja. I'll hold on to the Kaparaja in case you don't get any other pulls. Bershogun says, I think it's because I started carrying a 1911 anytime I leave the house. I don't normally conceal carry, but recently people have been giving me anxiety. Whoa. <laughs> That's right. You missed it, JC. We opened up a whole booster box of Rocket Pokemon cards. You missed it, man. Gosh. 
Poor guy. Shelder and Dreadnought. Can we do that trade before you end? Uh, I would. You can make an offer on the trade, uh, but I, I'm not terribly interested in that Tyranitar, I'm afraid. I'm actually... I wasn't super interested in the more P.E.K.K.A. I was just trying to give you a hand. So you can make a lowball offer if you want, but I'm, I'm not, like, super interested in him. The problem is I have a ton of cards out with PSA. See what I'm saying? A ton of cards. I'm pretty sure I have one of those out with PSA. If I don't... Well, Justin, what you're really talking about is $30 plus $18, which is $48, which is much more than the value of the card that I'm willing to accept for it, especially because when I take it from you, is probably going to... It will probably hit a 10, but if it hits a 9, I'm, I'm totally screwed. So I couldn't do 48. Move that over there. And the last pack. People are trying to trade me their cards so that they don't want... Uh-oh. Can you sell me, guy? How's it going, man? Uh, I can sell you cards. Yes, you'll want to use the Streamlabs link in the description of the live stream. Here we go. We have Galarian Rapidash. Reverse Hollow. I'll throw that in, too. You're picking up that Cramorant uh, Fates Fire. TGC, can you show prices? Here's the price card. If you're buying international, there is a $13 shipping fee. $13 shipping fee. Can I trade you code cards for Charizard? <laughs> hey, mister. <laughs> yeah, international shipping, unfortunately, is kind of expensive. We're going to say Fates Fire here. Uh, Justin, if you wanted to do $30 total on the Tyranitar, I, I think I could do $30 total on him. I think he forgot you paid for the grading. I didn't forget that he paid for the grading. Uh, he's offering 30, but he wants it to be bumped up to 48, and I'm saying I don't actually, I don't actually want to make that trade for 48 because it, we're talking about a different value for the Tyranitar in that case. Oh, and I don't have Hidden Fates. He's right. I'm sold out. Yeah, so Hidden Face is sold out. Cosmic is actually sold out, too. Yeah, we're, we're waiting for these cards to return. Uh, I ordered more. This, people just eat them up, though, man. You guys go through them so fast. Woo! I don't remember what we were doing last. Opening up a, ro a box of Rocket? What? That's crazy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Justin says he's down. Oh, Justin says he's down for thirty bucks. Justin, if you want to do thirty bucks on these, this card in particular, I will go for that. If you're including the grading, that means I'm paying twelve dollars for a uh, a regular full art rather than like a secret rare, which is actually still a good price for you, in my opinion. Especially if it's a nine, that's a pretty decent price. Let's do it, says Justin. All right, Justin, so you have 30 bucks with me. What would you like to do with it? We can look at these some more if you want. Uh, I'll do whatever you want. Oh, he wants a $5 lotto. Which lotto? Are you, are you wanting lotto number one, two, or the big lotto? Assuming Lotto 2, right? No problem. There you go, Justin. put this right over here sweet and then he wants the rest to be vintage hollows so we have magneton japanese koga tyranitar magnazone x dusk noir x how much for that blasty boy let's find him let's find him if you see something else you like on the way just mention it no need to ship mine what what are you talking about fate you don't want them you can hold on to them, and next time you buy cards, we can add them together. 
I oust out? What? Lost sound. Oh. Magneton, Hypno, Smeargle, Dark Flaffy, Copycat, Sentran, Dratini, Magikarp, Mew, whatever the heck this is, Dark Garbok, which you already have, Machamp, Dark Machamp, Dark Dugtrio, that Dark Dugtrio is a 10, Dark Slowking, Slugma, Ursaring, Totodile, Imakuni Stadium, I think. I think that was Miracle Energy. Oh, cool. Is that what it's called? I'll have to look it up. All right, we got some of these slightly more modern vintage cards. Brock right on Dark Hollows. Here's the Dark Blastoise. It looks like I'm putting him at nine. So the Dark Blastoise is nine. Is that Raikou towards the front hollow? Uh, the... Yes, this one right here, this is a hollow card. There you go, see? Could you breed Koga's trap and Sabrina's Frick from Jim 2, please? Sabrina's Frick? Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's from JC. Give me a second, JC, I'll start. Well, you know what, JC? Let me finish this real fast. So the Brock's Ride On is probably going to be about five. And then this is 9, so that's 14 plus 5 for the ticket, which is uh, 19. You have $11 left. So you got $11 left, Justin. Did you see something else that you liked in there, Justin? As many Dark Hollows as I can get. All right, let's go, let's go find some Dark Hollows. So you have 11, huh? Dark Hypno, Dark Garbok... So those are non-hollows. How much for your first edition Machamp? I'll buy it. Hmm, uh, I, I would kind of probably need to look that one up, but something's telling me roughly $8. Here's a Dark Machamp. And a Dark Dugtrio. So what would you prefer to have, the Dark Machamp or the Dark Dugtrio? Just come on now. They both have some scratches on them. They both look decent. They both have a little wear on the back. So I, I'd say roughly 10 each. Dark Tug Trio or Dark Machamp? You can add one more of these. Machamp? Sounds good. All right, there you go, Justin. Thanks for the trade. Picking up some vintage there. <laughs> no problem, man. Gessie's falling asleep. Wake up, Gessie. We can't do this without you. Super sleep. <laughs> Could you grade Koga's Trap and Sabrina's Frick from Jim 2? I certainly can. I thought you'd never ask. What sets are those energies from? The energies are from the Hidden Fate set, so they're actually quite modern. Uh, I have a full collection of them for $12 if you want every single one of them. Now, wait a second. So, okay, we need to find JC's packs, Booster Peaks. Where did JC hide his Booster Peaks? Here we are. First edition, my champ, let me know if you want more. First edition, my champ, let me know if you want more. Uh, I'll take eight. Unless you know something I don't. <laughs> I'm going to give up on sword and shield. I'm sorry to hear that, man. All right, so we're going through your cards to find the Koga's Trap and the Sabrina's Frick. I like the name you gave it. All right, nope, not there. Just want it for my binder, had one as a kid. That makes sense. Here it is, Sabrina's Frick. Whoa! Let's grade my Giovanni Hollow Giovanni's version and Koga's Ditto. Whoa! Sounds good, here we are. All right, set that down very lightly. So I found them, JC. I will send these out to be graded as per request. A lot of Gem 2 cards being graded today. I think we have enough for a massive submission. 
Okay, so first they're going to need penny sleeves. Yeah, it sounds like you did a little bit of research there, JC. Did a little bit of research? I think you did a little bit of research. And then he found something out about these cards. I'm going for a full hollow grade from Jim 2. Oh, that makes sense. Wish I had more booster packs to open for you because you're probably missing one or two of them. This isn't the error Koga Trap. It is the fixed Koga Trap. I'm pretty sure it's still valuable as a, the fixed version. People still collect that one. Yeah, see, he's he says it's okay. It's Ron Jeremy. Hi, Ron Jeremy. Okay, so these need to go over here. And I'm going to go ahead and update the grading. Give me a moment. A, B, C, D, E. So this is under J, C. We're going to have Sabrina's flipping you off. Japanese paid D, D, E, F. And what's the other one? Is Koga's trap fixed Japanese. All right, you're in there. Very good. After that... Uh, Willy Wonka paid for the Machamp. WW Willy Wonka. How much for the Raikou and condition? Uh, I don't actually have a price and I don't even know the condition, so you'll need to give me a second. Did a good job clearing this out, actually. Look how many I still have left. It's ridiculous. I have way too many of those, and we're just sitting in a box doing nothing. So I'm happy to get them out to you guys. That makes me happy that they're moving around. Do you have another, Mitchell? Do I have another one? Uh, do I? I don't think I do. Let me double check. Hey, bartender. I do. I did not know that. <laughs> the mod champs are out. Where did DL go? DL! All right, so hold on. Mahasvara, let's grade my Giovanni. Giovanni's Persian and Koga's Ditto. Where is Mahasvara then? Giovanni? Koga's Ditto. And what was the last one? Giovanni's Persian. You might have gifted that one to me. Did you have two of them? Oh, you have a second bag. You do have two of them. I remember now. Yeah, you have two of them. Somebody gifted me a Persian. How much would it cost to put the cards in those thicker sleeves? Hey, that's a great question. I've never sold my top loaders before. Uh, are you talking about... There's two ty types of thicker sleeves. There's the top loaders, and then there's the... Um, I can't remember what they're called. Top loaders and protectors. That's what it is. Card protectors. All right, we got it. Give me a minute. We got it. So this big fat one is a card saver, and I use it to send cards off. So that's a card saver. Uh, there's another version of a plastic card 
hold, card holder called a top loader, and they're much easier to hold and enjoy the card with, and in some ways, they kind of protect the card better. PSA prefers these because the card can't move around as easily in these, but I actually think that the other, other type of card holder is safer. There you go. All right, we're going to say Mahasvara on these. Oops. All right, so sweet. TGC, and you check my bad for things to grade, please. What? What? Hold on. Let me uh, do this grading request. So now I'm going to jump over here, and I'm going to update your grading request, Mahasvara. Mahasvara has a huge number of cards going out. Okay, so you added Giovanni's Persian. You added uh, Koga's Ditto. Diddy. <laughs> and you added Giovanni Trainer. You are sending out the whole alphabet, man. You got a lot of cards going out, Mahasvara. Jesus. You're sending out as many cards as I am at this point. <laughs> it's going to be a crazy return whenever it comes back. Missing Beedrill, Arcanine, and Venusaur for Gym 2 Hollows. Oh, yeah, the Arcanine. <laughs> Mahasvara should get his own PSA return. I think we're ready to wrap up. What do you guys think? I got a little message. <laughs> hey, I wasn't sure who to contact, but I want to be able to see the Not Safe for Work channel. Oh, Sager wants the uh, Raichu. People are like, wait a second. Hey, Master, where are you going? Where are you going so fast? <laughs> Where are you headed? What's the rush? Um, for this Raikou, I would do five bucks. I, I don't honestly care too much about them. I don't care enough to look. Take a quick look at the card. You know what? He appears to have some dots on him right there. So he is not going to pull a 10. He's got some light scratching on the back as well. So this card's seen a little wear. Uh, if you want them, I would still do $5. Oops. What else were people asking me to do? I can't remember. How much to put cards in top loaders or card savers? So these are top loaders. I mean, these are card savers, the big ones. Forgot to grade the Persian in Beedrill from Gym 2. Who did? Is it JC? Oh, God, JC. So this is what a top loader looks like. It's thicker, and it doesn't move as much, and you put the card in like that, and there you go. And uh, the card will actually slide out from the top pretty easily, which is why PSA doesn't allow you to use them for shipping. Uh, but if you really want these, um, I would say I'd put all your cards in the top loaders for like two bucks, but that's such a small amount. I don't want to do it for free because I haven't ordered more of these. Uh, I, I would probably have to do like two or three bucks, something like that. For the How many cards do you have, actually? Yeah. Would you do three bucks, Justin? I would do three bucks and give you all the top loaders. It's going to... Okay, so anyways, let me... JC wants to grade the Persian and the Beedrill. The Persian and the Beedrill. Let's get it. Beedrill. Persian. Okay. And we're going to take two of these. 
Yeah, if you think about it, guys, when I send your cards off to be graded, one of the one of my costs is the hundreds of card savers that we go through to do this and the hundreds of penny sleeves that we go through to do this. So even to be able to submit these, I have to just give all those away and they're not free. So it's like, it's one of those costs, you know? Dude, this is sweet ass looking cards. Apparently there's no more of these available. So maybe this will go up in price. All right, let's write your names on them. Top loaders, please and thank you, Senpei. Senpei, Senpai. There you go, JC, I got your name on them so there's no confusion. Let me go ahead and update the grading requests. Did someone buy the Shadowless Machamp? The Shadowless Ma Hold on. Frigate, grade my Arcanine. Grade your Arcanine? You know I can't allow that. <laughs> oh, you know what? I need to fix something real fast. One moment. Uno momento. I'll remove this real fast. And then we're going to jump down here to JC. So you're sending out a Giovanni's Persian, Japanese, and a Beedrill. I had a ditto to grade two. SRY for the late request. Okay, so after, after that, Sagar buys the Raikou. Here you go, Sagar. So there you go. Your name looks like Sugar. But it's Sagar. After Sagar, Justin wants the top loaders. Okay, let's get the top loaders real fast. I have a very limited number of these. I wasn't hoping to buy any. Oh, that says AFK on it. Let me get rid of that. Huh, this will take a minute, guys. Give me a second. Sagar. Sagar? I'm just going to call you Sugar. Hey, honey. <laughs> hey, Sugar. <laughs> Been called Sugar before when I went to school by teachers. I'm just going to call you Honey Buns. Hey, Honey Buns. Yeah, that was a lot of top, top loaders. I think $3 was the right price. Cuz now I'm going to now I'm going to be looking into buying more of these. I didn't actually have very many of these left. Oops. Okay, put this back up, the remaining few. Okay, we're gonna wanna fold this carefully whenever I do the shipping. Well, actually I always fold it carefully. What am I talking about? Wow, that got much heavier. Okay, Justin is done. Weekend Wolf says, Frick it, grade my Arcanine. Not a bad choice. You were the only one to pull that Arcanine. So everyone's going to be jelly in the belly when they see it. Strange that there was only one in the box, huh? Looks like you got a name's Chansey, too. Those are apparently good. Nah, just put the Arcanine in my bed. <laughs> All right, there you go. Card saver. I think someone else is grading Venusaur. All right, here we go. Doesn't that look nice? That's a nice looking card, man. Jim Poo, guys. 
Last weekend, wolf. Yeah, there's going to be a ton of doubles. So what's going to happen is I'm going to be splitting them up very carefully. I have a whole method for it, but I'm, I'll am i work on it when I actually make the submission. Uh, and I'm just going to go based on like number order. So there could be a there could be a little bit of a wait time, sadly. Okay, so let's see. I mean, just the fact that PSA is closed. Let's see if Weekend Wolf already had a card going out. I don't think so. Weekend Wolf, you're lucky. Nobody else is grading the Arcanine, so you're going to just go right away. Weekend Wolf. Blaine's Arcanine. Japanese. Easy Street. Woo! So much grading. Oh my god, dude. Oh my gosh. That's too much grading. It's not allowed. It's illegal. Hey, mister. Oops. I just knocked down a bunch of energy cards. That kind of sucks. All right, there we go. You could put all mine in a different request because I might send you some cards to grade. Really? Well, hmm. We'll have to talk more about that. It's important information. This stack, put it over here. Nobody wanted the energy cards, hmm? Nobody wanted the energy cards, hmm? So just to remind you guys, lotto number two, wherever it went, here it is. Lotto number two is 20 tickets. There's actually some already sold. And it includes all of these vintage hollows. Sabrina's Alakazam, Dark Raichu, Magneton, Pinsir, Mewtwo, I guess that one's not hollow, Venomoth, Entei, Muk, Magneton, Koga, Pidgeot, Dark Persian, this cute little Magne Magnemite, Dark Slowbro, Electrode, Kangaskhan, and this free Machamp, Machamp break. You can shred it if you want even. I don't care. We tossed that one in because I didn't even want to sell it. So those are vintage hollow uh, cards, they're mostly light played. Some of them are a little better, like that Sabrina's Alkazam is excellent. Uh, I've set it up to have 20 energy cards. You have a 1 in 20 chance of winning. We're at the beginning of that lotto. Looks like three tickets have sold, so there's 17 left. Justin's like, oh, I want those so bad. Just tell, just call Grandma. Be like, Grandma. There's this really important opportunity. I need your credit card information. Grandma, early birthday present. Come on, Grandma. <laughs> Grandma, what, is, what are the numbers on the back of your credit card? <laughs> How's it going, Hunter? Do you have any code cards? Hunter, I have all the code cards, Hunter. You want to see some code cards? Look at all these beautiful code cards. Uh-uh-uh, not for you. <laughs> not for you, Hunter. Hey, mister, you got any codes? Hey, mister. He says I'll buy them. You bet your sweet booty. Uh, well, <laughs> I, I don't know if I'll ever sell the code cards directly. Um, we might do some more lottos with the code cards for fun in the future, but I haven't been selling them directly anymore. It's, it's actually easier to just, I think the lotto has been per, a pretty fun method because it's a very small lotto. Hey, mister. Call grandpa too. Grandpa, there's this unbelievable opportunity. I cannot miss it. <laughs> I need the numbers of your credit card. <laughs> I'm not going to have a battle royale. Man, look at all these Pokemon cards. Look at this table. You guys never get to see the whole table. Look at all these Pokemon cards, man. Grandpapa. That's right. When you need something, you say, Grandpapa. <laughs> you say it very properly. Lots of Pokemans. Shadowless Machamp? I don't have them. Fates fire somebody. No, I'm sending them off to be graded. That's what's going on. Shadowless Machamp, Machamp has been chosen. He's been chosen to be graded. You know what's crazy, guys? I'm showing you all these raw vintage cards. 
And I still have so many of them. That's why they're for sale. Can you also send to X Giovanni's? The best looking ones. Oh, interesting. Can I also do what? DL says, can you send two tied Giovanni's the best looking ones? I certainly could. Oh, snap. What the frick? What is all this? Venusaur? What the actual frick? So, I just got a ton of these guys, man. Look at this shadowless polyrath. Oh, here's another shadowless Machamp. Oh, sweet. There's another Arcanine. Here's a Snorlax. He's all happy. Here's a Flareon. He looks kind of cool. Bunch of cards. Not a lot of first edition cards, I notice. Oh, look. It's another one of those ancient Mews. Oh, he's got a big bend in the middle. So this is why we were selling off the cards. I got too many of them. All right, let's go a little faster. Whoa, he shoved a lot of cards into that page. These must be his common and common cards. Okay, but that was only one of the folders. Wait a second. How many folders does this guy have? How many folders do I have? Wait a second. How many folders do I have? Is that Flareon a hollow? Yes. Oh, this is the heavy folder. This is the big folder. Oh my God. This one was very expensive. Actually, I think he got a better deal than I did, to tell you the truth. So here we go. What do we got in here? What does that even say? Power Keepers or something like that? There's a Combuscan. What is this? Oh, what do we have here? Here's the Gym Heroes. I believe this is Gym Heroes. Misty. Hey, there you go. You want that, Misty? Is the Flareon for sale? Ah, uh, it should be. I should probably make it for sale. There's a Blaine's Growlithe. Justin's going to be like, I want it. Give me that Blaine's Growlithe. You guys recognize these. We were just going through these with Jim, too. Common and commons. Bunch of trainers. Energies. Oh, snap. What the frick have we walked into? What is all this about? Now, I've, I've picked, a, I've sniped a few cards out of this folder already to be sent off for grading right away. So some of these are mi missing. Look at that Lugia, dude. Dude, that thing's awesome. Uh, this is, I don't even know what set this is. This is one of those E sets. Could be the base set. I have no clue. Here's some Neo Discovery. There we go, Neo Discovery. A few of these have been pulled already. I, I especially kind of poured over these. In fact, I was disappointed because a big part of the price of the folder was the Neo Discovery cards, but they were kind of poo-poo. They weren't that good. He gave me some stinky Neo Discovery cards. I was like, oh my god. Yeah, I wasn't too pleased when I figured that all out. I wasn't too pleased. Japanese. Look, there's that Rockets Mewtwo. Holy. Rockets Snorlax. Oh, I got a little itch on my hand here. This is why we were selling stuff out of that box. Is because I got a freaking ton of these. The box is just the beginning of it. If I emptied these into a, in, if I emptied these out into that little box, it'd fill it up right away, like easily. Some Rocky Returns. You'd think I'd be done, but we got some stuff in the back too. Look at this. What is this jungle? What the? 
What the heck? We have some jungle in that other box. That sucks, Hunter. There's a non-hollow Flareon up there. I saw you guys like, how much for the Flareon? How do I know? I don't know. You think I got time to know those things? I don't know those things. These are just the cards that sit around and they don't do anything. I don't display them. Oh, look at this Japanese Snorlax looking cool as frick. Dude, he's cool. All right, but that's the end of the big folder. So we had the white folder, the big red folder. I I think I lost money on the red, big red folder. Quite a lot, actually. I, I, was a, I made a video, well, I made a commentary about buying bulk that talked about the strategies on buying bulk because, well, not bulk, but like uh, lots, card lots. Because I've learned a lot from the few card lots that I've purchased. I think I've purchased about six of them. They are kind of a big risk, card lots. How do I, oh, here we go, hold on. This is my original black folder with my C of R box. That's quite a few R box. Wait, there's some R box there, but also there's some R box here. I don't think that's enough R box. I think we need more R box. But wait, there's some more R box over here. That's just like two pages of just R box. What the hell? Did I kind of lose my mind there? I think I kind of lost my mind there a little bit. Yeah, I don't know why I had so many R boxes. Pretty crazy. Some gold bats. Some more gold bats. There's some wheezings. Now, obviously, we won't have a lot of these. Those are actually really valuable. So those are pretty rare. There's a first edition Rainbow Energy. Yeah, we won't have a lot of the Dark Blastoise. Alkazams. Surprising number of the Raichus. One of those is in the lotto right now. Yeah, actually, this folder would be more full if I didn't pull some out just for the, um, just for this box on the table. I mean, look at those Dark Dragonites are everywhere. This is a complete common and uncommon collection first edition i was very concerned about obtaining one of these there's that dark charmeleon he's pretty valuable we got a bunch of dark flareons and dark jolteon somewhere i don't i don't remember where i stored them oh is this it this might be it no i don't think that's it oh yeah somebody gave me this that was very nice of them uh somebody sent me a card i bought and they gave me this magneton it's pretty cool Here's some rocket returns. <laughs> and, uh, well, here's a few more back here, but here's uh, the most important page, of course. Shuckle. I got my whole page of Shuckle. All the Shuckles that you could ever want. I need to know those Growlits, man. Uh, I don't have a price on the Growlits. In fact, I should be wrapping the stream up right now. Shuckle Gang, that's right. <laughs> All right, so that was like my rocket folder, and it used to actually be more full, but I've been pulling from it all the time. I mean, there's the Dark Arbok from it. How much for the Psyduck? I don't remember, man. I'm going to put this to the side. <laughs> I've been selling cards all night. Believe it or not, you can get tired of selling things. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to go ahead and ripe up, or ripe, ripe up, wrap up. You guys just saw my raw collection, my binder collection. Uh, so that is why we've been, that's why we've been reducing this because I just have too many. And I probably haven't been selling them at the right price. Uh, I used to think that I would be super picky and sell them real carefully. I've realized I don't want to have a bazillion raw cards because it's just too many. Uh, it's, it's too much to remember. You know what I mean? So I, I want to reduce all this and... You guys can have some in your bo of, of binders, folders. Obviously, I have like three folders, and they've got a bazillion cars in them. I've just got too many. So I would like to reduce that. And what I really have been enjoying when it comes to collecting, DL says, don't forget to add my grade request. Oh, right. Two Giovannis. Let's get that, DL. Let's get your two Gio Giovannis. We'll get it right now. There we are, DL. 
Thank you for reminding me. Should be back here. Marnie. Is this it? Oh, nope, that's Chansey's name. Name's Chansey. Here's one Giovanni, hold on. Price the Growlits, I will sell them for $20 each, 20 hundred thousand. Here you go, you have three of them, huh? He's like, send in the best ones. Put this in the front here. Okay. Should really grade the Chansey as well, to be honest. Yeah, you can think about that, okay? Do a little research on it if you want. That'll help you decide. That's right, we pulled a lot of Chanseys from the boxes. No Imakuni is Dodoos, though. How's it going, JB? So you say the best one? I mean, <laughs> uh, well, okay. Actually, this one's a little thicker on the bottom, uh, the top than the bottom, so that one's off-center, believe it or not, which leaves these two, actually. Yeah. That one was slightly off center. And the backs of these are perfect, so this one's going back in the bag. You're going back in the bag, Giovanni. Back in the bag, clap, clap. Back in the bag, clap, clap. One. I'm starting a new religion, guys. I'm gonna need a children's show so I can brainwash the children. All right. I'm just very happy with our trace tonight. Thank you again. Oh, no problem, Justin. That's D.O. D.O. Did you find my ditto in there too? I think I did. I had a ditto to grade too. Sorry for the late request. Oh, did I, uh, oh, I see what's going on. Yeah, oh man, there's so much information here. I don't wanna mess anything up. I gotta get this right. Here it is. Dude, my back's starting to hurt. Stream's going on three hours. It's three hours of leaning forward. Bad postures, three hours of bad posture. That's a good way to describe it. I need like a different way of sitting or a different chair for this live stream, but I don't know how to do it. I resentfully went through a box full of my old Pokemon cards. I was so mad I didn't put them in sleeves because they were so banged up and they were lots of first edition hollows in there. Oh, sorry to hear that, man. Well, at least your parents didn't sell them for you. That's what my parents did. They sold them in a goddamn garage sale. I didn't even get to... See what I'm saying? I didn't even get to say goodbye to my old Pokemon cards. They sold them for me behind my back pocketed the cash because that's what they do because they suck all right we're gonna jump down here to dl and he wants two times giovanni a b c d you're gonna have koga's ditto all right you're updated dl dl Fix that a little bit. Hey, mister. Is that the end? Holy shit. All right. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.